The voluntary male circumcision campaign coordinator for the Oshana region, Aina Itula, says most mobile sites only circumcised as little as five men on a given day, which she says is very low. Research indicates that male circumcision substantially reduces men's risk of acquiring HIV, making it an important addition to other HIV prevention methods. With circumcision, HIV infections would be averted in both men and women, and Itula is disappointed that despite several education campaigns, men in the target regions are not coming forth as expected. We had a target of 100 clients per day, but uh, the number since then, the average has been just uh, 30 to 35 per day, which means we are very, very behind uh, with our target. Women are also urged to encourage their partners and brothers to use the opportunity as it will contribute to their well-being and health. I would like all my beautiful ladies out today, if you are having an circumcised man, then you are at risk. Eh? Tell him he must come. It must be a requirement also. According to officials at the site, there is a general fear of the unknown, especially of pain and phobia of injections among men. But one of the patients who had just been circumcised put down the issue of fear and encouraged fellow men to use the opportunity and benefit from the free exercise. Firstly, I thought it's painful. So that's why I didn't want it to come. And uh, one of my friends uh, advised me and he was encouraging me that oh, my friend is very beneficial even for your girlfriend. When I went there, he even asked me, are you feeling anything? Then I said, ah, I can't feel anything. And later on, he's already done. He's showing me something that oh, I'm already done. The campaign ends on Friday, but the circumcision program will still continue at permanent sites in the region.